is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. Hanging out today. We're under the world. Wait, this is amazing. Whoa, whoa. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some Ark Survival Evolved, peeps. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Today, we're going to do some stuff and things. I'm really excited about it. We got a couple of improvements, some stuff and things that we're going to go on. I want to start off the episode by saying thank you guys so much for your continued support and all the Ark stuff and things. You know, in the season, uh, the first episode of this season, I think we got 20,000 likes on it. I think I asked you guys to do like 10 or 50, and you nailed it. You destroyed it. You blew it out of the park. And I, I got to tell you guys, I can't even believe that we got that amount. I thank you guys so much for helping me out. If you guys like the videos, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. So today we're going to start off. We're doing something that everybody needs to do. Get a gun. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, babes. We need to get a gun. So, um... Really, the way that I like to do arc, or the way I like to kind of set up my hot bar and all that sort of stuff, is I like to have my narco arrows on my crossbow, and then I like to have a long rifle for actually doing damage. That's just kind of how I ran it last season, and it worked out really good for me. So yesterday, we went up and got a bunch of metal, and let's take a look and see what's going on in here. All right, so we didn't all get used up. We kind of did it as a community. There's still 32 in there, like so. Um, let me go ahead and take a look and see here if any of these mammoths have a little bit of metal or a little bit of wood on them, actually. Oh, no wood. He's got some stone foundations. You got any wood on you, homie? Nope, no wood. All right, so this might not be a thing. Let me go ahead and check on John Deere and see if I had stashed any wood away on him. We might not be able to get the rest of that stuff fired up. Now the day still can't be stopped. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just... We could use spark powder, too, I guess. But we're just going to use wood and then go ahead and get the rest of this metal going over here. Let's go ahead and just put that in there, light that up like so. And let's take a look. I've already learned the engram. No, nope, that's Karaus's body. Let's go ahead and look under weapons, firearms. We need 20 wood inside of here. Good thing I split the stack up. Thinking ahead. Firearms. Bam. And we're making the long rifle peeps. Now, the next part of this is that we got to get some ammo going, too. Now, this is two metal ingots and 12 gunpowder each. There's a little bit of gunpowder in here, too. So that's not really going to do it for us. All right, let's take a look at our weapon. Oh, baby. No scope on it yet. Let's just take a look at what she looks like. Oh, you want some? You want to go? You want to get shot? Oh, no ammo. Oh, no, no ammo. So, all right, we got our gun. We need to get a scope on it. So let's take a look at that. We're going to need tons and tons and tons of gunpowder. So um, I want to make uh, probably 50 bullets to start off with. Each one of the bullets takes 12 gunpowder, so that means we need 600. Um, so, And then we're going to need 100 metal, which that's something that we can get. Now, there's already a little bit of gunpowder in here. There's a little bit of spark powder in here. And then over here, let's take a look at what we got going on over here. We got a bunch more spark powder, too. So these guys have kind of already made some. So we're going to continue. We're going to, like, help out and make some more. How's our spark powder situation in the in these guys? Preserving bins are looking good. I think I got the same one twice there. So we just want to make sure that we're not taking... All right, we got it. We're good to go. So what we're going to do now is come over here to our charcoal chest, where we've been saving up tons and tons of charcoal... We're going to squirt all that into our inventory, come into the mortar and pestle, like so, squirt that in there, bam, nail the dice that can't be stopped, making up that gunpowder, yo. And we'll let that do its thing. Now, while we're doing that, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that had gone on. We've been playing around a little bit with the respawn, the resource respawn distance. So one of the things you can actually do, you guys know, when you build a structure, it stops resources from spawning in the area. But as you can see here, we built the super amazing wall in the last episode. We got a tree going right out of it. So what had gone on is overnight, Drax had played around a little bit with that with that, and the server configs to see kind of like how it would work out. So I think maybe we got it a little too close, uh, whereas the, the stuff is respawning inside the structures. But it is really cool to see that, like, you know what I mean? We got trees and rocks and that sort of stuff back in this area, too. So it definitely needs to be, like, some sort of a balance. We need a balance on it. You know, I did go over here as well. You remember in the last episode, I put the sign up here that said future area of the tower thing. And actually, rocks spawned on top of the sign. So, yeah, I think we can adjust it a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, the wall is looking great. The new city is going to be unbelievable. So, um, we got our gunpowder up inside of there. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and drop out of here. Now, in order to make the gunpowder, we need the spark powder. In order to make the spark powder, we need stone and flint. So, right now, I've got, let me see on John Deere... How much stuff and things we've got going on here? I think I've got none. All right, we have a little bit of stone. We have a little bit of flint. 
So what we can do is we can squirt that in there like so and just kind of make up what we've got. I do have a little bit of stone on Wayne as well. So um, we can use that up. So we need a bunch of... What, what do you want? What level are you? 32? You are free. We will not destroy you and take you and shoot you in the head and make you ours. So over here... Now we're running a little bit low on spices. But we can go ahead like this. Grab that guy. Make 92 more spark powder. We'll take 100 out of there like so. And then... Is this the same one? Yep. Let's grab... Do we have 100 inside of here yet? You got 100 in there like so. So now we're basically halfway there. Yesterday I already made... 100 gunpowder, a little over. So let me take a look here. If we squirt this inside of here, you can see we've got 308. 308 spark powder. But we need a bunch more, and we need more metal too. So what I'm going to do is... Hmm. I guess maybe we'll take these guys out. Let's go ahead and get pump weight. Let's see what we need to pump on him. Oh, nothing. He's good to go. It's turning night. I'm going to go ahead out. I'm going to get some flint... I'm going to get some stone for some more spark powder so we can make some more gunpowder. And then I'm going to probably also go ahead and try to grab a little bit of metal as well. Ugh! And I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back. Scope attachment. Pfft, nailed it. What do we got to do to make one of these? Let's look, shall we? Where are you, scope attachment? Uh, Weapons? Primitive? Ranged? No. Where would the scope attachment even be? Why is it not at the top of the list? Are you at the bottom of the list? Why do you hate me, scope attachment? Does that have to be made in the smithy? Probably. Let's go over here and check out and show you, I'll show you what's going on. I've actually never made a scope attachment. I've only ever found them. So, do we have any scope attachments? There's a bunch of pipes I found the other day. There's a bunch of pipes somebody else found. And there's some hides. So, let's skip that part. Here you go, peeps. Metal. In here, making it. Over here, look. Metal. Nailed it. Inside the inventory... Gunpowder. Winning. Over here, more gunpowder. Nailed it. How many do we need? 600. How many do we got? 600. Nailed the ace that can't be stopped. Inside of here, gunpowder. Extra. Why? Why wouldn't you? All right. Inside of this area right here. Now, weapons, attachments. Right there, 20 crystal, 5 stone. Let's get it. Here we go. Other day, brought crystal down. Don't tell me it's gone. Everybody sucked up all my crystals and used all my crystals in their things. Everybody dies a million times, so they need to have a million things that are made of crystal. Is all the crystal in here and I just missed it? There it is. We don't have enough. All right, so that means we're going to come back over into John Deere. We are going to... No, stop. We will just skip the... Well, now wait, scatterbrained. Let's go ahead and just skip that for now. What we're going to need next is to do the ammo. I think that's the best bet. So under weapons, ammo, these guys here. Two metal ingots for each bullet. That means we need 100. Inside of here, we have got 57. Pretty much already got it all. So 33. Yep, ready? 15. Psst. Oh, man. Did you just see what happened? Nailed an ace to can't we stop. One, a two, a three, a four, a five, a 600. Uh, weapons, ammo, bam. That's right, it makes two of each one, so we're actually going to get 100 bullets out of this. All right. So not only do we have all the gunpowder, because we have extra gunpowder now, because we made extra gunpowder, we have extra bullets as well. All right, there's no extra gunpowder in here, purposefully. For some reason, I didn't do that. So here we go. There's another 100 gunpowder. So now it is time to go to the top of the mountain and get the crystal. And we're back. And we're flying straight up. You know, I, I feel like it, this is a bit of a stretch. I feel like a pterodon could not maybe fly straight up um, like that. I just don't think it could happen. But over here, all right, very easy to get our crystal now. Even though we got to be kind of careful. What? Da, 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 da. Thanks, Ark. We got to be a little bit careful as far as like where we land and stuff like that. But we should be pretty good to go. Can't carry too much down at once. I think about 50. It's probably going to be the good amount. Um, any more than that, and we'll probably have a problem with weight issue. So there's six. What do we got? 40. Oh, we got a bunch now. So let's take a look in our inventory. All right, 40. 40 is good. We got oh, we got 20 stone. We don't need that. We'll just bring the 40 crystal down with us. Um, because Terry, Pateri, you know, we 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 don't want to we don't want to overburden her. So all right, funnest part about coming to the volcanic mountain is flying down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Prepare yourselves. And we're flying straight down. Completely normal. This is like... 
This is like when we're t if we were taking on the Death Star. This is kind of what's like. That's kind of cool flying down there like that. But anywho, so, all right. So there is the lake. That's where we're headed back to, and then we're gonna make our scope. And we're back, safe and sound with our crystal. Everything's going amazing on our gun-making adventure. We shall squirt the crystal inside of here. Enjoy it. Weapons, attachments. We need 40 metal. I can't believe it costs that much. That's a lot of metal. How much metal do you have? 40 metal? We're just killing it. Let's get the 40 metal inside of there, and we need five stones. Uh, You got any stone on you, man? No? All right. Any stone in any of these chests? Just five stones, please. Can I just have five? Nailed it! All right, and then popping that over here, inside of there. Weapons, attachments, scope. You know, being our that this is like early game and stuff. This stuff is really expensive. Like, we're gonna have to really make sure we don't die. We can't die, peeps. Nailed it, Ace. It can't be stopped. All right, so now we can squirt this into our inventory and squirt that attachment onto Hyat like a so. We got a level out of that, yo. Right now, just so you guys get the update, I'm at 150 health, 150 stamina. 250 weight, 215 melee damage, 110 movement speed, and I did pump a little bit of fortitude. Kinda too big for a little house. Hey, what I'm going for this on this character is right now melee damage to see how that works out. Now, one of the cool things that's going to be coming up is that there is going to be a new stew, a new like beverage or drink or food that you can eat that's going to allow you to respec. How much do these bullets weigh? Five? You know what we can do just in case we die? We can go ahead and squirt some of these onto here. Like a soap. One of these, one of those. We'll put those arrows on there too. So we got tons of narco arrows, tons of bullets now. And now we got our new gun. Let's shoot Drax with it. All right, no. Okay, fine. We won't shoot Drax with it. But I'm just saying, we have a gun now. Let's go ahead and shoot something with it. That's what guns are for. So, you know, one of the cool things about the long rifle is the amount of damage that it does to flyers. It's absolutely redonkulous amount of flyer damage. So we'll come down here like this. Now, if you crouch or lay down prone, you get a little bit better. You want some? You want some? Now that ace that can't be stopped, you get a little bit less of the um, the sway. So if I go like this, you see all that sway? Now if you go into prone or kneel, eh, you get a little less sway. If you go prone, you get like almost no sway. So it's pretty baller. So now we don't need to carry around two crossbows. We don't need to carry around two types of arrows. And then actually, let me take a look here. See, arrows weigh 10 for 50, bullets weigh 5 for 50. So it's a weight saving. Uh, it, it's an experiment in weight saving, or it's also going to save us some weight, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that's ready baller too. All right, first part of the day, we're doing really good. We got our gun. We're totally killing it. Um, I think next maybe what we'll start to do is put up a couple chests over here by our house area and maybe just start to gather some resources up for building our house. And then we'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back in the early morn. And I thought we would start off by making some ramps. That doesn't rhyme with morn. I was hoping maybe we could get something that rhymed with morn. But that just... No. I mean, ramps is what we got. So let's go ahead and grab three three of these bad boys. Let's come inside of here. How many ramps can we make? Five? That's too many. We need three. Start off with three ramps. Like so. And then we can start getting these guys placed back over, uh, yeah. Like this? Oh, no. You know what? This one might not place because of the storage bins. No, it does. I amazingly did it the most amazing way. Uh, no, why? Why, Ark? Why do you hate your slipcater? Obstructed by what? Why are you obstructed? There's nothing there to be obstructed by. I can put one here. I can put one here. I can put one here. But I can't put one there. All right, two ramps right here. This is where our front door area is going to be. So um, I got a bunch of stone as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at getting some stone walls made. I think we're just going to build this guy straight out of stone, like so. We're probably going to need some windows. So we'll actually pop up uh, inside of here, go back down into stone. Uh, one, two, three, four. I like four. I feel like that's a great number to start with. And then stone walls. We can build two of those guys too. And then what did we run out of? Why won't you tell me now? Why do you have to wait to tell me? Wood. All right, and then so probably just grab a couple hundred more wood, another some thatch, and a couple more of stones, and then we can make up nine walls. That's probably gonna be a good amount. Oh, I'm super overburdened. 
so let's grab these guys and we'll actually stick that ramp back in for weight saving stuff and things make it so i can move please i am now moving all right so over here is where we're gonna have i think yeah that looks like a great spot for a window don't you think little window there little hot window action right there little hot window action over here little hot window action over there so now we got a couple of windows that's pretty amazing so i'm um, actually you know the other thing we're gonna need is some door frames so let's grab like this no that's not wood and like so inside of here huh, grabbing that uh, stuff and things we need uh door frames we're out of thatch i set this up pretty great we can just kind of access all the stuff from right here two of these bad boys And then we will score a door frame a uh yeah, -huh, like that. We're overburdened. Is it overburdened or just burdened? That doesn't really make much sense now, does it? And then I'm thinking another doorway right here. -huh, like a so. So then probably more window thingy doodlers. You know what? I think I'm going to do all the rest of the walls, and then I'm going to build a few of the sloped roofs. That's something that we've not played with yet. I don't even know if you guys know about it. There's these sloped roof things that I want to play around with. So, um, yeah, I'm going to build some more of these guys so we can, instead of building on a cam, I'm just going to build it, and then we can just do the building, and then I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back, guys. I got some new stuff and things here. I think a little outer deck. I think we need a little outer deck, not an upper deck. An outer deck right there. I like our little outer deck area here now. We got a doorway here. We got our back door here. We got back door, upper deck. Um, so now uh, what I wanted to take a look at was these things. So there's new sloped roofs. Let me see how these are going to work. And then if we put one like, oh, see what we've done? Look at what we've done. Now it's like a peak. It's got a little peak thing. All right, so we've got our little peak thing here. Now I also built some of the these guys here, which is the slope roofs. So can we like slope in it? Okay. All right. We got to slope in it over there. So how do they, how do we meet them up? That's my question. Um, so then if we were to go slope roof here, slope roof there, this is pretty cool. This is getting to be a thing. All right. So that's like that. And then if we go like over here, like this, like this. Okay. We're out. We need one, two, three, four more of those guys. I think we're running a little bit low on stuff and things here. Let me take a look and see what we got. Uh, all right. A little bit more thatch and a little bit more wood and then we'll need a bunch more stone i think probably the rest like so we can only make three is that because we're out of wood or because we're out of stone i think because we're out of stone let's craft the rest of these guys up oh no wood okay give it to me the wood no wrong chest why all right over here and then we can kind of go like a so like so. And then like so. And like so. Now what we're going to meet, how we're going to have a meet up, I have no idea. I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, we probably could have gone another story up higher, but I kind of like that. It's a little small. You know what I mean? This is just like our starter, our starter spot. It's not an amazing spot. It's just a starter spot. Just a place where we can get some stuff and things done uh, to beginnings with. So um, I don't know how those peaks are going to meet up though. And they think we're a little bit low on stuff. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to squirt this inside of here. We got to get some more resources, and then I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back. And we had to get a little bit creative here. Actually, I'm really burdened right now, but I'll show you the creativity we had to implement over here in just a moment while we de-burden. All right, so there we go. What we had to do in order to make this work is build this little chimney. That's a chimney, peeps. That's what we're going to call it. So the sloped roofs will not, like, intersect. Um, I think maybe you can make them intersect, uh, but it looks really bad. Um, I was having a lot of problems with it. So I was just trying to think about what I could do to make this look a little bit better. Um, and so we added a chimney. That's what this is supposed to be, ish, maybe, kind of. Anyway, it is a thing that is here now. So that way, at the very least, it's not... It looks way less bad than it would have. So um, over here maybe can be the bedroom area stuff and things. And over here can be our storage area stuff and things. And I'm um, also thinking out here on the deck, we would add maybe some extra roofs as well. Even though tiny too big for a little house. We'll still be able to do this. Let me see here. Can we get it? No, why? Why do you hate your slipcater? 
So now we got this. <laughs> Tiny too big for a little house. Uh, at least when the sm short people come over, they'll have a little deck, outer deck area. Um, and I'm thinking that we might do, I don't know, actually, a couple of pillars, too. You know what? Let's go over here. We've got to make another ceiling. Do we have the materials for it on us? No, we don't. All right, so we need one more ceiling. Do we have pillars? We have a pillar. Let's go ahead and grab this, this. We're running low on thatch at this point. We need our ceiling, and then we need a pillar. I think that'll be good. Let's take a look at this. Like a so, like a so. All right, now that Ace the Camp is stopped, let us score these back inside of here. Let's go out, place our ceiling in a way that we know we're placing in the right spot. Nailed it! And then over here, I feel like what we need is those pillars on the edge here. So let's go ahead and grab these guys, like so. We're going to need another one, actually. Oh, wait. Are you going to be one of those pillars that's a big pain in my butt? Come on, be a good pillar. Good pillar. All right, and then now, what are you doing under here, homie? Are you following me? Now let's go ahead and make a single one more pillar. Should be enough. That's all we're going to need, I do believe. Like a so. One of these. And then we will place this guy kind of over here, like almost like a support. Uh, Like that. Like so. How's it look? Looks cool, right? It's a little bit of a house thing. Let's go ahead and get on Terry and then take a look at what we've done. Very, very slowly. Didn't I unfollow you? Why do you why do you still follow me? We'll come up here like so. Look, we can get kind of a, a view of it of the house. Alright, this sucks. Let's go. <laughs> we gotta drop some stuff off. Terry, let me down, man. Come on. Just just land. Just just land. Land! Alright, let's come over here. We gotta drop some stuff off. We're way too heavy for Terry. All right, there we go. Now we can get a better. Now we can get a better flyby and see all the stuff and things we got going on here. Oh, you got a level, yo? Let's do this. Eight ninety seven stamina. Let's kind of fly away from it a little bit, and then we'll come back over and through. It looks cool. I like it. Oh, weird. There's like. Oh no, crapo. So, we got a little butterfly. It's like wings. Our house has wings. That's kind of what we avoided on the inside by doing the, the little wall there. Um, we'll just leave it. No one will ever see it. It's totally not seeable unless you fly over it. But from the outside, other than the wings, <laughs> it would be sweet if they eventually were to engineer... Um, not even doesn't even necessarily need, need to be like a slope that connects just like for the slopes to be smart enough to know that if they intersect they like cuts off the extra bits we possibly could do another little chimney on the other side in the back here that might not be a bad idea either but i do like our little house i think for a starter house it's baller i hope you guys do too let me know the thumbs up button what you think of the little starter house and the slope roof stuff and things i think i'm gonna do a little bit more fiddling and then i'll be herbies and we're back, and I've changed up some stuff. I'm going to show you guys here in a second. First thing we're going to do is squirt a couple doors in here. Yeah, everybody needs a good door squirting. Let's go ahead and squirt that door, squirt that door. Now you can see inside of here, we've got a little bit of room. We've extended the, the air quotes chimney. We've got a much bigger chimney. I couldn't do the fins, guys. They just look too terrible. So we had to kind of make a little bit of a box. Until they design something a little bit better for how those slopes connect, we just got to do a little box right there, and it's a little bit of a box house type thing. Gives us a little bit more room. Makes a spot where Tiny can actually fit. And um, I could do fences around the the porch there. But I think that we're going to, for now, we're just going to leave it. And the reason why I think we're going to leave it for now is because Tiny really likes in the mornings to come out and lay down. And, you know, start the day off with a little hot sniping action. That's what I'm just saying. Tiny just likes to start the day off with a little hot sniping action. And now we can do that. We can actually go, we can see the whole compound from here. Is there anybody that needs to get shot down there? Don't think there is. Let me see here. No. But anyway, that's how Tiny likes to start off. He just wants to start the day with a little bit of hot snipey action. And we got a cool new house, peeps. And I think it's really, really great. We're going to fill it up with some storage bins. I think we're going to do just like a bunch of storage bins on this side right here. And a bunch of other stuff and things too. But I'm excited. I'm excited about the house. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I'm so fat. I'm excited about our dark house. And, I, and then I'll BRBs.
And we're back doing a little, oh, fish hunting. That's how I always like to end the day, peeps. You know, a long day's building and making guns. It's always good to do a little bit of fish hunting. You know what's really weird is the reflection, the reflection of the water changed a second ago. And I, I was hitting fish through. Why is there now more of a reflection than there was a second ago? Is it because of the moon? Maybe that must be it. But I was just hunting some fish. I want to show you my fish hunting prowess. But now we can't see. There's one, there's one, there's one. Turn it back around. Stupid fish, they're so tricksy. So that's going to be it for today, peeps. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good time hanging out. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the like.